Aloha everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Noelle and I do unboxings here, mostly lifestyle subscription boxes, but also some stationery, books, beauty, jewelry, and even a dash of Disney. So if you like unboxings, I do hope you'll consider subscribing to my channel and hitting the notification bell. And if you're already subscribed, thank you again so much for being here and welcome back. Just a quick reminder, you do still have a couple of days to enter my big summer giveaway where you have the opportunity to win an entire summer welcome box from Cosbox or one of seven different mystery mailers that will be full of beautiful items that I've received from different subscription boxes. So make sure that you watch that video and get entered. I will leave the link for it above as well as below. But today I'm very excited to share with you a beautiful seasonal lifestyle subscription box called She Lives Aloha. As many of you know from my channel name as well as me just saying it a million times, I did have the privilege of growing up and living in Hawaii for many years. So I do still consider it my home. And of course, I am experiencing some major homesickness because I haven't been able to get back there this year. So I'm very ready for this dose of aloha. They have changed up their box, which is still gorgeous. It still has this beautiful kind of seafoam green color, but now it has an outline of the islands and a giant aloha. So you're literally getting some aloha in the mail. And then I love this personal touch. They actually wrote my name here in script there on the front. So I thought that was really, really sweet. Now, She Lives Aloha is $49. 95 per season or per kit as they like to call it plus $10 in shipping but I will leave a link for you below in the description box that will save you $10 on your first box so essentially you would be getting your first box with free shipping which is a pretty good deal so let's open it up and see what we've got Aw, and then it looks like they have a little handwritten note for me, which again, I do appreciate that personal touch. It just says, Noelle, thank you for being such a great supporter of She Lives Aloha. Stay safe and healthy. Mahalo, Vanessa and Lori. So I appreciate that a lot. And then we've got a nice little teal pineapple sticker, which you guys know I love me anything that has pineapples, so that's a good sign. And lots of tissue paper hiding these two product cards. So they don't do retail values, which you guys know that I love retail values. And the reason for that is because I feel like it allows me to enjoy the curation of a box that much more because then I'm not kind of doing the mental math of deciding how much I think certain items are worth or how much I would be willing to pay for them. You're almost always definitely getting the value of what you paid for the box, but sometimes it's nice to be assured that you're getting a little bit of a deal as well as being introduced to different companies. Um, so they don't have it, but hopefully we'll feel like we definitely got our money's worth. It looks like there's maybe four different like vendors represented so I'm just gonna set that up in front of me so that I can remember to tell you all about them as we get to them but on the other side it does have an introduction to the box and it says aloha brings us together this season's kit is inspired by the Hawaiian word huipu meaning to mix or come together. It includes everything you need to mix up a taste of Hawaii from home. Just add water and rum, or if you prefer, skip the alcohol for a delicious mocktail. We've all found ourselves in a situation of isolation over these past months, prompting us to seek ways to huipu virtually. To that end, we're hosting a virtual happy hour for you, our ohana. Mark your calendar, and then it's got all the information to log into a little uh, Zoom happy hour on August 21st. So if you guys decide to get this box, get it soon so we can all meet up in this happy hour. That sounds really cute. Uh, I love boxes that try to create some community amongst their members, their subscribers. Enclosed are some recipes we love. We invite you to try them and or mix along with us on Zoom. We can't wait to hear your favorites, talk story, unwind, and share some laughs. Our resident mixologist will also join us to share his tips on crafting the perfect drink. Till then, Vanessa and Lori, so cute idea. And then it does say that we've got the Lives Aloha Cooler, follow the directions on the back of the enclosed cocktail mix. So we'll get to that when we get to it. And then add a splash of your favorite tropical juice to taste, then rim or sprinkle a dash of the enclosed leafy powder on top. Ooh, though, so there's lots of things that are gonna go together in this box, which I'm pretty excited about. We can't wait to see how you're living Aloha, even as you shelter in place. We'll be reposting our favorite moments, so don't forget to share your pics with us. Definitely will. And then this other card that I'm seeing just has another cocktail recipe for Dad's Koloa Cooler, which, wow, has three different kinds of rum, so you definitely have to uh, stock your bar for this one, but it does look pretty good when you put it in a cute uh, little glass like that. And then the other side just has this like image of a nice like Hawaiian picnic. It looks like we've got some cocktails, maybe some chicken katsu, some musubi. Oh, I could like, I would love to have some musubi right now, you guys. 
look it up if you don't know what it is. It seems like a weird thing to like, but it is delicious once you acquire the taste for it. So like I said, I'm gonna put this product card up in front of me so I can tell you a little bit more about the items. I'm pretty excited, it sounds like there's a well curated box where everything kind of goes together for this sort of cocktail hour idea. All right, so the first thing is, this is interesting because it was the first time that I ever customized anything for She Lives Aloha, but they did give us the choice between two different cocktail mixes, and I chose the Hawaiian Hurricane, but you could have also chosen uh, Mai Tai. So it says, mix up Hawaii's quintessential cocktail, the fruity Mai Tai, not too sweet or overly flashy. This mix hits all the right marks with flavors of pineapple, lime, and orange enjoy it on my time Monday or Aloha Friday or every day in between but then I chose this one and it says or cool off with a Hawaiian hurricane pineapple passion fruit and lime give tropical sweetness to this delicious cocktail just add water and your favorite liquor so I love having mixes because I'm not a big rum girl even though I like tiki drinks mostly how they look um, but I do usually like to use vodka instead and it does say that this makes eight servings, so you could definitely make a nice big pitcher to share with someone else or to have for yourself if you really want to have a super happy hour. Uh, so that's kind of a fun item, and I did appreciate that we got to pick our poison, kind of, so to speak. Um, and then, <laughs> this is awesome, you guys. So. Some of you guys might recognize this, and some of you guys are probably wondering what the heck this little red powder is. It is Lihimui powder, which is basically a dried plum powder, so it's both salty and sweet. Um, it's definitely an acquired taste. I wasn't like big into it when I was a kid, but like more when I was a teenager, I totally loved it. I would like actually suck on like the crack seed, like the actual plums with the powder, or I would love it on dried mango. That is fantastic. Let's see what it says about this. So as a staple in our pantry, we invite you to try a sprinkle of the lihi powder from this Oahu-based snack shop on virtually everything. Candy, donuts, fruit, dried and fresh, shave ice, drinks, alcoholic and non-alcoholic. Rim your glass with it or sprinkle it right on top with a salty plum flavor. It complements a variety of sweets and a little goes a long way. So this will definitely last me for a while. It's not something that I necessarily like seek out here in California, but I'm happy to have a little bit of it in my cupboard. Just, again, Again, it is kind of fun to rim your glass if you're doing like a tropical cocktail it definitely has a bit of zing to it so if you do try this box out have an open mind with it and you might find yourself surprised if you do kind of like that salty savory uh, sweetness uh, that flavor combination you'll probably like that all right it looks like we've got another edible item so I'm excited about this because this comes from the island of Maui which is where I grew up so it's not much to look at I will admit that you guys but this is some delicious coconut candy and it's always great when you see that there are just three ingredients we've got coconut cane sugar and water so you know that it's a sweet treat that's not necessarily got a bunch of preservatives in it we've got a nice little three ounce dose um, this is made in Maui by bananas and coconuts in Kula which is my actual hometown like city specific uh, not that you would call it a city it's more like a town uh, so it says handmade on Maui with locally grown coconuts and Hawaiian cane sugar with such fine ingredients you'll be able to taste the difference so they're definitely setting us up for a awesome pauhana or happy hour pauhana just means uh, when you're done with work essentially so we've got the snacks we've got the cocktail mix we've got the little garnish with the plum powder so I'm, I'm into it I, I'm enjoying this curation for sure um, this is definitely heavy on the like edible uh, treats which is not always the case with she lives Aloha if this is the first time that you're seeing it Ah, so this is, I actually did see this in a spoiler and I kind of forgot about it, but I am very pleasantly surprised because I thought that this was actually plastic and it is in fact glass. So I love the ombre effect. I love, of course, that it has a pineapple texture and it's not just a mason jar with a lid. It is a mason jar with an actual handle pretty cool and then it's got a nice hole on the top so you can put a straw in it and of course it did come with the straws one is a blue and white stripe and one is a green and white stripe so that also signals to me that there are two of these which you guys I love that we do get drinkware in subscription boxes sometimes but so often we just get one cup or one glass and I'm just not a mismatched uh, drinkware kind of girl I really like to have sets even if it just means like two so I'm very excited. I think that's very thoughtful of them to include two of these glasses. And let's see what it says about this. This is from 
Soha Living. Enjoy all the aloha feels with these pineapple glasses from Soha Living, founded by two sisters from Hawaii, one for you and one for your co-quarantined ohana. Hand wash only. A little bit of a bummer that it's hand wash only, but so cute. I definitely have a lot of pineapple themed things because I love pineapples, but even my little tiny bar that's kind of set into our hutch has a lot of kind of pineapple-y themed glasses and like barware, so this will definitely work with that. And I'm very excited that they're glass so they're like a little more durable than I was expecting so I'm wondering since I got one blue straw and one green straw if that means the other glass is green to match it is not it is also blue it does look like there were some color variations though because in the image that they have here on the product card it, there does look to be like one that's more of like a teal color than this blue but I'm totally fine having these two like I said I do like matching glasses and then I guess with the straws it's kind of fun because then that's an easy way for you to know which drink is yours right I had the green straw or I had the blue straw so it's an easy way to keep track make sure that yours is always the one that's fuller um, so I'm excited about these it looks like this is all that we have in the box so let's just go over it we got the set of glasses which are super cute we got the nice drink mix that does make eight servings we got the delicious coconut candy and you just have to trust me it is delicious and then we got the fun uh, leaky powder which does give some extra zing to your drinks to any kind of food it's also good on fresh mango I have to I have to try it on that since I can't get my hands on dried mango very easily these days. So I do think that I got my value. I do kind of miss the fact that there's not more um, variety beyond this sort of happy hour theme. But again, I appreciate that curation. Let me know what you guys thought about this. Let me know if you need a dose of aloha in your life. Uh, I know I do. I definitely could use a virtual happy hour of any sort. And if you do want to join me for that happy hour, get your own She Lives Aloha Box, use the link below. If you enjoyed this video, you guys, please do give it a thumbs up. It really does help my channel out and I really do appreciate it so, so much. And hopefully I'll see you all very, very soon in my next unboxing.